Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be doing a reading all about your person, the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. What do we need to know about this person? And what are the energies between you? As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right in for Virgo spirit. What energies, what guidance do you have for Virgo? What do we need to know Oops. for Virgo regarding love, person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? Overall energy, the Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups on your side. We have the Ace of Cups and the Star, Aquarius energy. On their side, we have the Six of Wands and the Hermit. There you are, Virgo. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, the Magician. Interesting. So I feel like with the Magician and the Page of Wands, someone is like, they already know what they want to make happen. And it's like they're ready to take initiative here. However, the Seven of Cups is telling me that Someone still has like choices to make, decisions to make here regarding whatever's happening. And I say someone because both of your energies are here, Virgo, you and the person you're thinking about. So this could be all of your energy, all of their energy, or a mix of both. They're clearly thinking about you. You're right here with um, the Hermit. And the Six of Wands is about like success, victory, recognition. Oh, this is bothering me. <laughs> And on your side, I feel like there's a lot of feelings that you have for this person and also maybe some hope or faith that something will work out or be healed with the star. So let's get some clarity here. What is this that someone wants to kind of like the action they want to take, whatever it is they're trying to manifest? What do we need to know? Get some clarity please on these energies. Virgo, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Magician. This is the overall energy for the reading. So let's start there. Why is the Magician here, Spirit? Why is the Magician here? The Five of Swords. Okay, tell me about the Magician. Hmm. The Knight of Swords, and then we have the star again. Well, when I see the star with the Five of Swords, I think of someone healing a conflict. Maybe with honesty with the Knight of Swords. But also the Magician with the card like the Five of Swords, it could be that someone is trying to make something happen, but their approach is not the best they might sabotage themselves if they're not careful, or they might be kind of playing dirty a little bit. But the Knight of Swords is not like that. So I think that this is someone that wants to perhaps fix something or address a problem. Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So I feel like there's already resistance here. It's like this person's expecting some sort of pushback or maybe they are scared because <laughs> the seven of wands and the nine of swords is almost like someone needing courage to overcome their fear let's keep going let's see what's this page of wands about this could be communication especially because the knight of swords is here tell me about the page of wands why is the page of wands here oh, oh, oh i dropped it Oh, I think that's the devil. Yeah. The devil Capricorn energy. Can you get one more, please? For the Page of Wands. The Nine of Cups. So this is just someone that really, I think it's like a little uh, consumed or just like really, really wants something to take place here. 
Nine of Cups is like wanting your wish granted, you know, being emotionally satisfied, fulfilled, very um, ac feeling accomplished, feeling satisfied. The Three of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So this is interesting because it's like someone's waiting for this to still happen. Um, maybe they're hoping for a message back. But I don't know, I, I with the devil and the five of swords, I just, and the seven of cups is here. So it's almost like someone's trying to figure out the best approach for something, but I don't know if they're making the right choice. Because sometimes we want something so badly that, yeah, there's a the magician um, again. Sometimes we want something so badly that we don't realize that we might, things might backfire depending on how we make something happen sometimes people want to cut corners or um win at all costs and sometimes this doesn't that doesn't work out tell me about the seven of cups why is the seven of cups here eight of wands yeah it's like someone's um trying to figure out how to make their move here how to communicate tell me about the seven of cups six of wands and again someone's just focused on success on winning there's a seven of wands again at the bottom of the deck so i feel this is your person that's trying to figure out because they have the six of wands um that they're trying to figure out how to what's the best option to make this happen to make this healing um communication i mean whatever it is that they want to just you know do here because for you, this person is definitely trying to heal a, a problem or a conflict. And so maybe they're just so focused on success that they, you know, might miss something. Spirit, can I get some insight on the overall energy between Virgo and this other person? Overall energy, please, between Virgo and this other person. What do we need to know? Judgment call. A judgment call is being made using logic and reason. Decision, knowledge, logic. What else? This is from my seller energy oracle deck. Moving forward and far apart came out together. Patiently waiting is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel, you know, someone might have left this connection in the past or they need to leave something behind in order to bridge this gap. Because right now you feel far away from each other, whether that's like physical distance or emotional distance. There is like some sort of separation here. What else for Virgo? What else for Virgo? For Virgo, please. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then there's flirt. So I think that Virgo, maybe this is a situation where you don't really trust someone's intentions. You aren't sure what exactly it is that they want. Maybe you're worried that they're playing you or, you know, it's almost like you need reassurance that this isn't something that's going to hurt. So if you already have a history with this person, that's probably why you're having these. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like you're hesitating because of what you already know. But I, I feel like you still have feelings for this person, no matter whatever, whatever has happened in the past. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. The Sun. Yeah, maybe this is like someone that makes you very happy or someone that um, you can see a bright future with. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. Two of Swords. I think, yeah, you're just not sure. There's something about this person or this situation with you and, and this other individual that it's almost like hmm 
Is this really it for me? Because you're a bit undecided here or blocked, guarded. Maybe you're just protecting yourself, right? No matter how happy someone makes you or how, or how strong your feelings are. You're not just going to jump into something. Tell me about the star. Ah. We have the moon and the page of swords. This is clarity. Pisces energy there with the moon. This is clarity. Clearing up any misunderstandings. Um, no longer th um, are feelings or, you know, communication hidden or unclear or confusing. Like this is your... You're getting exactly what you need um, in order to, I feel, um, trust this person or trust this relationship. It's almost like you, you really want to get down to the nitty gritty of something or just arrive at an understanding. You don't want to guess. You don't want to dream, right? <laughs> it needs to feel real and it needs to be something that's you know, you're both on the same page. Tell me about this moon, okay. The magician, so I feel like you want clarity on what this person wants, what they're going to do. Tell me about the moon. Ah, my deck is going crazy. Tell me about the moon. What do we need to know about this moon energy? The world, yeah, so before you even entertain this new beginning um, or listen to what this person's plans are for whatever they want to set in motion here. You want, you want to know exactly what this is going to be like. You don't want fuzzy details. I feel like you want to know exactly how this person hopes to achieve something and it needs to be honest. It needs to be clear. Hmm. So let's see, tell me about the hermit. Now, Virgo, I do have you on the left and your person on the right, but you can flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Uh, your person's like very focused on winning something, on um, having things work out. It's like failure is not an option here. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Six of Wands. You're both marrying each other here with the Ace of Cups. You both have feelings for the other. Tell me about the Six of Wands. King of Cups, oh yeah. This person, they're just so focused on having this success with you, having this Wheel of Fortune here where like everything works out. Yeah, Ten of Swords though, with the Page of Wands. So there has to be some sort of ending here that's relevant. So either you already had a difficult ending because I have here far apart, you know, you're separated from them. Um, either that is the ending between you or someone has to move forward from an ending in the present. Um, and I think that's what this action with the Page of Wands is. You know, it's like maybe doing something about this ending, taking the initiative because the Page of Wands is like baby steps, but they're willing to get out there and do it. They're willing to take the initiative. Um, two of Pentacles here though, and the Five of, of Wands. So I think that your person, you know, there's, there's almost like a back and forth energy here due to some conflict. So either they're undecided about this ending or they're still trying to figure something out here. Maybe there's drama outside of this connection, drama that's like interrupting things or making things difficult behind the scenes. And that's probably why the Five of Swords is here. Maybe this person who wants to manifest something, make something happen with the Magician, with this Knight of Swords and the Star, it's like they're they're having to have some sort of battle here with the Five of Swords, Five of Wands that showed up. You know, maybe there's some sort of interference they have to address. The Devil is here as well. So I don't know if this is like, you know, I, I take this as someone that's just, very um, focused on getting what they want. But it could also be that this devil is standing in the way of this Nine of Cups. I see that too. And they need to be very careful. Let's get some insight into how you feel about each other. Tell me about Virgo. 
and this other person spirit. Get some insight, please, for Virgo. And this other person. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Imprisonment, okay. So you're picturing some sort of um, stuck situation, stuck energy, feeling trapped. I don't know if this is you or you're thinking about this of the other person. Tell me about the person Virgo is thinking about or connecting with. What are the, their energies? What are their energies? The house. House is like assets, a home, um, um, you know, place where someone resides, family, etc., etc. So I feel like this is a situation where this, there might be a third party or some other situation that keeps your person from just being with you right now. There's something that's keeping you apart. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. Spirit, what else do we need to know? Let me get a secret moon. Tell me about Virgo's energy, please. About Virgo's energy. I really screwed up. Please forgive me. This could be what you're hearing from this person, Virgo. Or you feel like you messed up somewhere down the line here and are asking for forgiveness, okay? Tell me about this person Virgo is dealing with. What about this other person? You're always on my mind. I have a lot on my plate and I'm taking a risk. So I feel like you're both dealing with your own thing. <laughs> They're busy with something, but you know, the Page of Wands, the Magician, I feel like they're gonna be taking some sort of action here towards you. And I feel like you're, you've been patiently waiting for this. It's like you've been patiently waiting for them to make this move towards you um, and to be reassured that this is, this is going to happen, that this is something that won't hurt you, won't be devastating, you know? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all hopefully in another video very soon. Take care.